Rumpelstiltskin, Good Bedtime Stories for Kids. Today we have a book named Rumpelstiltskin, Good Bedtime Stories for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. Once upon a time, in a quaint village nestled between rolling hills and whispering forests, there lived a poor miller. He was a well-meaning but boastful man, who often found himself exaggerating the truth to impress others. One day, he found himself in the royal court, speaking to the king. Your Highness, the miller exclaimed, my daughter has an extraordinary gift. She can spin straw into gold. The king, intrigued by the miller's words, summoned the young maiden to the palace. The miller's daughter, a gentle and kind-hearted soul, arrived at the grand hall, unsure of what was expected of her. Spin this straw into gold by morning, and you shall be rewarded, the king declared, showing her a room filled with straw and a spinning wheel. Alone in the chamber, the miller's daughter despaired. She knew not how to perform such a feat, and tears welled up in her eyes. Just then, a curious sound echoed through the room, and a mysterious figure appeared before her. I can help you, he whispered, his voice a mixture of mystery and intrigue. Startled, the girl turned to see a diminutive man with a mischievous twinkle in his eyes. Who are you? she asked, her voice trembling. Call me Rumpeldilkin, he replied with a sly grin. I can spin straw into gold for you, but in exchange, you must promise me something valuable. Desperate to fulfill the king's demands, the miller's daughter agreed, not fully realizing the gravity of her promise. True to his word, Rumpelstiltskin worked his magic, transforming the straw into gleaming gold threads that glinted in the moonlight. Morning came, and the king was amazed by the sight of the golden thread. He was delighted with the miller's daughter, and declared that she would become his queen if she could replicate the feat for three nights in a row. The miller's daughter was once again locked in the chamber with straw, her heart heavy with worry. As night fell, Rumpelstiltskin appeared again, ready to assist her. But this time, he demanded a greater reward for his help, her firstborn child. With no other choice, the miller's daughter agreed, and Rumpelstiltskin spun the straw into gold. The king was captivated by her skill once more and married her, making her his queen when she bore him a child. Time passed, and the miller's daughter gave birth to a beautiful baby boy. But when Rumpelstiltskin returned to claim his prize, the queen's heart was filled with anguish. She begged and pleaded for him to reconsider, but he remained steadfast. Rumpelstiltskin offered the queen a way out. If she could guess his true name within three days, she could keep her child. Desperate to save her baby, the queen sought the help of her subject. She sent messengers throughout the kingdom, searching for any clue to the mysterious man's name. On the third day, a weary messenger returned with the story. He had overheard a strange little man singing by a fire, revealing his name in a rhyme. Tonight, tonight, my plans I make, tomorrow, tomorrow, the baby I take. The queen will never win the game, for Rumpelstiltskin is my name. With this newfound knowledge, the queen confronted Rumpelstiltskin. He appeared before her, confident that his secret was safe. But when she spoke his true name, his expression shifted from smugness to shock. His enchantment shattered, and he realized he had been outsmarted. Rumpelstiltskin let out a cry of frustration and disappeared, never to be seen again. 
The queen's child was saved, and she learned a valuable lesson about the consequences of making deals without fully understanding the term. As years passed, the kingdom thrived under the rule of the wise queen. The story of Rumpelstiltskin became a cautionary tale, a reminder that even the most enchanting promises could have hidden cough. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.